Hi there, Kelvin here with WordPress Help with Kelvin Nickel. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the plugin uh, for the social media auto post for your bl WordPress blog. Uh, there's been some questions about how to install it, how to set it up for the different social media sites. So we're going to take a quick look at that. Uh, in order to find the plugin, you have to go into your plugins area on the left hand side of your WordPress admin area and click on add new. And what I did was I searched for social auto post. And by doing that, it came up with the next scripts social networks auto poster or snap as they call it and we just click on install if you wanted to look for more details you click on more details it has a pop-up window that comes up what's called a shadow box pops up over the existing window and the background of the of this current window is actually darkened down a little bit so that you can see the information let me go back there and I'll show you exactly what I mean. As you can see, you can see the background and it has the information here. You can check through the installation, you can get screenshots of what the, the plugin is and uh, in most cases you can do that. And uh, there's other information and reviews. Um, very helpful. And in order to get out of this box, you can either hit this X or just click outside the box and it'll disappear. So anyway, we've installed the plugin and we go over here and you can see that it's installed. Click on activate. And now you can see that when you go to settings, you have snap in here so we're going to click on that depending on the plugin that you install sometimes you'll need to activate it this one you don't have to activate it's automatically by activate uh, I mean put in a key or some kind of uh, maybe your email address if you have to register for in order to use it um, generally some of those are are for paid plugins uh, as you can see, you can get the pro version for multiple accounts. But um, what I would what I would do with this is uh, just upload it for your each individual blog if you have more than one blog. In order to add more accounts, um, just click on Add New Account, and as you can see here, there's 26 different ones that you can choose from. We're going to set one up for Facebook, and what you do is you put your nickname for Facebook in. Uh, if you don't know what that is, go up here, and you can see your nickname. Mine on here is just Kelvin. Let's put in Kelvin. Uh, Facebook URL. Now, for the Facebook URL, what I'm going to do is just click on Kelvin and my Facebook URL, it, you can't see it, but it's in the URL area of the browser. Um, if I can, actually I might be able to shrink this down, pull it down a little bit, and you'll see it here, up in the URL area. Uh, just copy, highlight that, copy it, and go to back to full screen go back into the plugin and just left or uh, right click and paste and then for the API ID and the secret what you have to do what I do is uh, go to the detailed Facebook installation configuration instructions click on that and it'll open up in a new tab and it gives you full in instructions how to find it um, go to the developers page right click on that link 
and open in a new tab and go to the new tab and it opens up in the Facebook developers go back here and it tells you add new app that's in the drop down for apps so let's go over here my apps it says add new and I've already added it but let's go through the steps here and here if you go back to the instructions it says click on this advanced setup go down to the advanced setup and here you go you display the name of the app actually I haven't set it up for this site this is the new installation for WordPress help with Kelvin.com so let's do that and namespace um, I don't think we need to do that no we we'll just leave it like that uh, put the category to communication or whatever category you want to choose I'm gonna put it to communication is this a test version of another app no hit create ID then you have to do a like a uh, it's like a captcha but they do it with images instead and you select all the photos with a guitar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hit submit. Take a couple seconds, and it comes up with your app. Now I'm going to copy that. Go over here, put in the ID, paste that in there, and go back, and I'm going to plot this out right now and then you click show and you'll have to put your password in here and then you just double click on it that'll highlight it all and you copy it go back to your blog paste it in there and you can go through this information check it out but uh, pretty much just leave it as is and then hit update settings and you're pretty much done you may have to uh, activate or approve it uh, in order to give it permission so let's just do that right now and we're going to add a post show you what I mean by activate it. I'm just going to put in a quick welcome. Okay, I've created a post here. And I'm going to hit publish. There we go. Now if I go back to the... Actually, I want to go back to the settings. Hit snap. And... Settings. There's some settings here that you can do. Um, how to make your auto post. Publish immediately. No cron job use WordPress cron to schedule um, what the cron is is a um, it's like a, a time clock for your your setting where it'll automatically uh, execute a script and perform that script usually it's for sending emails or or performing s specific functions within your site um, generally with WordPress you don't have to worry about cron jobs or that um, they've already been set up you can limit your auto posting speed this is the reason for this would be to uh, to throttle down so that you don't oversend if you're pl if you're planning on posting on your blog uh, multiple times a day uh, you don't want to be sending every three min every two minutes and that you can click on this put in a little check mark and then set it for um, how many days, hours, or minutes you want to do it. We're not going to do this. Um, randomized posting time, two minutes. Uh, you can really fine-tune this. I want to publish immediately. And uh, user privacy and security. Skip the user verification. It's not recommended that you do this. And uh, just leave, th leave this information as is. 
I'm not going to do any of this here. Um, if you're using a short uh, a keyword or a uh, link shortener, um, and they've got a bunch of them listed here, uh, you can even put your own in. Uh, I would just leave it as is. Um, once again, uh, auto import comments from you can enable the comments import and how many that you want. Uh, if you wanted to put post them on your blog, um, there's other stuff here. And once again, if you go into the directions here for the Facebook plugin, it gives you a lot of information on what the different things can do, or what the different apps can do. And for each one of the, let's go into the social network here. If I were to check, uh, add a new one, and let's say we put in Twitter. Where's Twitter? Down here, they're alphabetical. The, this one will be specific detailed instructions and configuration instructions for Twitter. Um, if you took, let's go with Blogger, this one will be for Blogger. So they're always up in the top and they'll, they'll give you uh, detailed instructions for each one. So you don't have to worry about the instructions. Uh, just go through the instructions and they're very detailed. They'll tell you exactly what to do. So that's how you set it up. And uh, if you have any more questions, please feel free to post in the group. Uh, I'm there to help you. And until next time, this is Kelvin signing off. Have a great day. Bye for now.